network related management so what is a network management means first of all how to check ip address okay how to check ip address next uh, how to assign ip address okay how to assign ip address means static or dynamic kind of stuff static or a manual or a dynamic or automatic okay so names are little same thing only like dhcp that time we discussed right so like how to assign an ip address manually like what is static ip kind of stuff next basic troubleshooting the basic troubleshooting already i told about a ping command also so we'll see uh, ping command okay next start commands okay like this uh, trace rt or like that if you anything you want to do it. so first of all how to check ip address kind of stuff guys here it is small uh, change in the part that's why i shut down my pc so this is my virtual machine I have already one NAC is connected. Already one NAC is connected. Okay, so already my PC having a NAC. This is my Linux PC. Okay, one NAC is there. This is my virtual machine uh, in the my physical machine. So my physical machine also having a NAC, right? So that is. In my laptop, I'm using my NIC is my, my, my Wi-Fi adapter. So it is connected to my physical network through Wi-Fi only. I'm connecting physical network through Wi-Fi only. Okay, this is a, my NIC. So I connected to VMNet 0. I connected through VMNet 0 so that I can able to access physical network and physical machine access also means i can able to communicate physical machine and as well as outside network also i can able to do it both it will work generally generally if you want a internet inside a virtual machine nat is enough instead of vmnet zero you can connect it to nat also there's option called a nat okay NAT option is also there. Like uh, in a, a virtual machine, you'll get a inside a virtual machine, you'll get a outside network. Okay, so you can communicate outside, but not outside to inside. Outside to inside communication not there, but inside to outside communication is there. You can communicate it to your physical machine, you can communicate it to outside, but outside to inside or physical machine to virtual machine communication is not there in the NAT configuration. So be careful with that one. I'm already using VMNet 0, so that's why I can able to communicate. Can able to, means Linux to physical machine, Linux to outside uh, uh, network, and outside to inside communication, inside physical machine to Linux machine. So both the ways communication is there means i can communicate it to my physical machine and i can communicate it to my outside physical network and outside to inside inside to outside kind of stuff like i want to communicate from my uh, linux machine virtual machine to some other physical machine i can able to access also because of vmnet zero this access is possible here in this one here in this one, I want to tell one more story that is for that one. I am putting another NIC. That's why I shut down my P, uh, virtual machine. I want to put a, another NIC for the practical purpose only. But this time, I'm, I am putting to VMNet. Okay, VMNet 1. Okay, you can use VMNet 0 for that one also, no problem but I'm using VMNet 1. 
vm net 1 it means from virtual machine to physical machine physical machine to virtual machine communication is there through vm net 1 but you can't communicate outside network okay you can't communicate outside vm net 1 cannot communicate outside network you can communicate inside only inside only okay red color kind of stuff remember that one vm net 0 outside communication vm net 1 inside communication only okay there is some other settings also important to do that one but here i am doing like this okay uh, if you follow the starting settings from onwards it's the same thing okay so uh, uh, again it become a, a virtual machine settings only it will happen so here it is simple so why i am doing like this because i will assign some ip address here okay i will assign some ip address make sure both are communicating each other or not only for that one purpose we are doing this one okay so that is one so the first one i have to do i am doing here first add a extra vm net zero means already i have a vm net zero means one adapter is there one nic is already there i am adding one more nic like that you can add multiple nic almost like eight nic you can able to add it eight nic you can able to add it as i know change it to vm net one okay vm net zero vm net one both you can put a vm net zero also no problem but there is a small confusion will be there small confusion means what is vm net zero what is this one what is that one so small confusion will be there that's why i put a vm net one okay to avoid the confusion so in future confusion not now confusion so already one adapter is there i'm adding another adapter okay added another adapter and just for it on let it on guys understand uh, how to add a extra nic nic1 this is nic2 second nic It is how to check IP address. Here there is a lot of options are there. One is if config, most common one. Another one is IP ADDR. Another one is NM CLI. Three are there. Next, if in case if you have a two or more adapters, if you have a <coughs> two or more adapter, which adapter what it is that adapter? So compulsory check the adapter name find nic adapter so network interface card adapter name okay so based on that you can decide which communication you are doing so to avoid the confusion between one adapter to another adapter so i use different connection here one is to vm net zero another to vm net one we have not zero directly uh, communication. So I'm going to root here. Admin address one, two, three. You can control your analysis from here also. In the bottom, you can see. OK is open open the terminal okay activation of network connection failure okay so no problem if config see here it is it is uh, showing a very big list ens33 my standard ip address so next ens37 it is not showing 
the IPv4 IP address here. IPv6 showing, IPv4 IP address is not showing. So our second one is ENS33. We can assume like that. We can assume like that. Which one is first NIC? Which one is next NIC? Mostly we do, we cannot decide uh, by default. Okay, by default. Like uh, I give I gave you this system to you, and you don't understand which one is first NIC, which one is second NIC by D, by generally. So you can get it by like this by disconnecting it. I'm disconnecting second NIC. Okay. Yeah, I I P A D D R also okay. No problem. We will get it. Uh, still see it is not only I P address also adapter is disabled. Adapter is disabled. So which N I C is disabled based on that. So I'm getting like this. You can V M uh, network adapter. See this is this is disconnected. Adapter 2 is disconnected. See, you are not getting output uh, like earlier. You are getting like this. If you are enabled it, connect. But you have to little wait. Uh, any command is okay. See, you are getting this much of big information. See, or uh, IP ADD or anything, you can use it. So, you are getting some information here. Okay, that means the second adapter name is NS37. First adapter name is NS33. That is the IP address we are there. NS37. This is the part. You guys, understand? Yes, sir. What is your adapter name? Find adapter name. Okay. NS33. NS37. That is, I got a adapter name from very simple if config IP like that. First one. Second. So how to check the IP address? We know already. Uh, next, uh, how to assign an IP address? There is a different ways of assigning IP address is there. First one is GUI mod because we open directly GUI mod kind of stuff. So we'll go through that one. See, can you see guys? This is the network symbol. You can see a network symbol here or you can go to application and find the utilities where the network kind of stuff is located. Find it. System tools, settings, like that. So here it is. ENS 37, 33. 33 is already connected, 37. So you can see turn off, wide setting, like this. So, so I'll go to wide setting or you can go to settings and we can try. Okay. Look at this ENS 33, ENS 37. Both are on condition only. You can disable it by off, on, off, on like this. Okay. So when you on automatically it is try to get a IP. But no IP address. So go to this settings button. Connect automatically, make available to others. Very good. IPv4, IPv4. See automatic DHCP. Change it to manual. Give some IP address 192.16.0.120. Net mask. What is net mask? Subnet mask. So, what is subnet mask, guys? Please tell me. Does it look like a depth class? What is subnet mask for this IP address? 255.0.0. Very good. Very good. Class B IP address and it is a class B subnet mask. Very good. Okay. Default gateway that thing. I'm not doing anything. Just apply. So I given an IP address to my ENS 37. Okay, now I want to check from here IP. Sorry. If can't be. Okay, so am I getting an IP address here? 
not it okay not it is connected now so we'll try again see it is came ns 37 i give an ip address manually manually we give it so from our physical machine from our physical machine we have a sorry not cmd from our physical machine from physical machine uh, if you want to connect it to this particular through this particular adapter so you can go to vmnet1 details it is showing some app address okay. it is showing some app address because it's automatically configured now i'll put a manual one like this 17 16 0 uh, i think like this is 100 that is 120 my physical mission is 100 in you know, the vmnet one i configured so i will try to con con communicate from my physical machine put a cmd thing 72 16 0 120 see this i am able to communicate to my linux please okay I can able to communicate to my line X PC. From here also you can able to communicate to physical PC. Only two queries already we discussed what to do. 172, 16, 0, 100. 100 is my Windows 10. So this is assigning a IP address, statical IP address I assign to my line X and assign to my physical machine to my vmnet1 and both are communicating each other so how to manage with a gui mod okay next next one is how to manage in a different cli types in a different cli types how to manage it so here it is you can change if you want, you can change it to uh, DHCP mode also. So, like, click here. Uh, you want an automatic mode, then apply out automatic mode. Click. Then you try uh, again IP address. Okay, still it is showing world IP address only. I change it automatic right apply half on that is better half on means it's like a disable see ip address is gone why because of i change it to automatic no automatic ip address now how to do manually we'll try so here it is ls space slash etc what is slash etc all configuration is config network script mm, here it is if cfc ens 37 okay why it is not there only 33 is there 37 37 is an if no such a file or directory, how? It is showing still connecting kind of stuff, but it will be there. Showing 33 only. Okay, I will show you 33 kind of stuff. Look at here, VI. So this is presently in a DHCP. You can look at that one, guys. Type is Ethernet 0. Uh, important factors, uh, I will try uh, to get it. Okay. 
Go to this file. So read the file, at least try to read the file. Important factors are type. What is the type of this adapter? Ethernet type. Proxy is there? No. Okay, browse only. Okay, okay. I am removing others. Why? Because of I want to put a only few things. You want to get IP from DHCP. That is DHCP should be there. Boot proto is DHCP. Default root S. Yes. Okay, that is okay. No, no problem. That's uh, IP failure. Yes, you want IPv6. Yeah, you you if you don't require that's remove that one. Only important things I will keep it. Yeah, this is also different from one system to another system. So this is the setting. This is the configuration for DHCP. DHCP. Okay. So you have to go to this file. Please make sure that these things should be like this. These things should be like this. Next. We want to put a uh, IP address for a for a static in, in the same manual one. So simple like this one only. Guys, um, enable yes or no kind of stuff is there, but why it is not showing that one, it is not there. So go to down. Yeah, this is on boot S. Yes. On boot S. Yes. This is also a very important one. On boot S yes, meaning is when you start your computer, automatically NIC will be enabled. If you on boot no means network is disabled. Every time you have to enable it. So that is also very important. This is become none for a static. Okay, next IP address. So you have to specify IP address manually, like a 16 uh, 0 120. Okay, prefix net mask. Uh, you have to give, or you can give by prefix also, no problem. Uh, default root uh, if you want to put a default root uh, kind of stuff or a DNS if you want to give DNS then be like a DNS okay, DNS one like uh, yeah 172 for example if you have a DNS server you have a DNS server just for example if you have a DNS server okay. or maybe I will put a one okay so default uh, uh, kind of stuff you can able to give. Okay, so it is uh, other things are not showing. Why I don't I don't understand why it is not showing? Okay. Because uh, not enabled or uh, not working kind of stuff. So wide setting. Okay, it is an off condition. That's it is not showing. Cannot access. Yes, very good. This is the thing. Wide connection like this. Name is little different, guys. Be careful with the names. Compulsory verify. See it is Boot Pro DHCP default. Yes, lot of things are showing like this. Okay, it is in a DHCP mode. This is your hardware address means your. What is this hardware address? Mac address Mac address. I'm changing to none. Okay, I'm changing to none. Next. 
this is not required dd sorry i have don't go to any ipv6 kind of stuff okay uh, this is enough okay so i am adding ip address equal to 172.16.0.121 okay net mask 255.255.0.0 one second which operating system more secure than windows two questions i got it list of all ip address check already given some three things are given to check the ip address okay i'm giving dns guys secure operating system not secured operating system every operating system has their own security okay so as per me security is nothing in front of if you put a any system in front of real hacker if you learn a ethical hacking from road side like a certified ethical hacking kind of stuff that's called a road side okay <laughs> road side means a certification course in stored with a paying amount kind of stuff that is not just you are become you are for a just for a understand our protection basic protection purpose only okay basic protection purpose only okay um okay so i given uh, sorry one second just uh, ip address net mask and dns so on boot yes some name is there wide name is there boot proto boot proto is none so it is not a dhcp anymore i will try so sorry sorry save and exit so whenever i save and exit i am checking ip address uh the ip address of ns50 is not showing here so what i'm doing is if down ns37 so if down means disable if up ns37 i enabled it now check the ip address see ip address is okay ns37 the manual ip address is okay got it guys so what i have done i added these things to it the important thing is i added like this that's it uh, that's that's the only thing i done okay so in stop this one i put a like this dns i given a dot a dot a dot a i didn't done anything extra i made this one as a none means it's a static i made this one uh, i given ip address and subnet mask and then dns address remaining things i didn't change it so this is a uh, different name is there uh, for a different kind of stuff okay and generally like this okay this name is little different uh, from there to here so that's only we have to look at okay okay that, that's the only name is different from there to here it is name or device name is different uh, device name is not showing here okay so so mostly name is there so important is on boot yes means when you start your system automatically network adapter is enabled network adapter is enabled okay next name of the your uh, adapter okay type of the adapter boot proto none means static dhcp means dhcp 
okay ip addr means you are telling ip address net mask means subnet mask dns1 dns2 dns3 is like a dns server ip addresses so this is statically you can able to assign so little confusion will be there guarantee on a, on this particular thing okay so uh, but make sure that you, you, you are uh, able to see properly that's it okay yeah here it is my ens 37 3 37 see here see uh, if in case if it is showing a dns kind of stuff like you can able to see from here otherwise you can use put a clear nm cli so you can see clearly this is the ip address of ens 33 then 37 so this is a ip address Okay. Default gateway I didn't mention, so you can get it. See, it is enabled automatically. Go to wired setting, right? So then I'm going to settings of this one. IPv4, it change it to manual. IP address is changed. DNS address is also showing here. Okay, this is the manual assigning. ip address through cli guys i showed how to assign ip address how to assign ip address gui mode to assign ip address in a gui mode so then go to network adapter kind of stuff is related uh, network uh, settings uh, that's we cannot show you how to do it so i will tell you one more time so how to go to network so very simple if it is symbol is represent here you can go for it otherwise application uh, settings here it is under system tools settings system tools settings in the system tools select um here it is network select network and there is a setting buttons at your adapter so click there and go to ipv4 you want uh, dhcp type so select dhcp type you want to assign manually select manually okay so again we uh, will write once again uh, so the first how to go to application system tools settings in that one find out network next in that one ens minus 37 the setting button or uh, bhcp change it to automatic change it to automatic okay for manual change it to manual only okay so change it to manual assign ip address okay so also you can Turn on, turn off, turn on. Like a for disable, enable type. Okay. So this is your assigning IP address automatic manual kind of stuff in GUI mode. This is a CLI mode. How to assign a IP address? so you want to configure so you have to find what is your D, uh, adapter check make sure that boot proto is dhcp is a important boot proto is dhcp ip address should not be mentioned this ip address should not be mentioned otherwise it becomes static right so 
it will get a IP from DHCP type. OK, name device. On board. OK, this is to assign for a static purpose. So find out what is your adapter name in the adapter. So you have to assign IP address by adding like this. Remove the DHCP, make it as a none. Boot proto is none. IP ADDR is IP address, net mask, mention. DNS, if you have a DNS, mention the DNS. If you have a default gateway, you can also gateway you can mention. OK, so some diff get gateway something is that gateway you can also mention. OK, gateway also you can mention. I didn't mention anything. That's it. Name of the adapter and a device is uh, optional on board. Yes, so this is. How to do it next. Whenever you do in a manual also so like this, but it is immediately won't adapt it, right? So it is won't adapted immediately. You need a enable disable kind of stuff. I do if down DNS 37. Hello. this able adapter to disable it if down if up ns 37 for enable also you can do service uh, uh, restart kind of command also for restart the service restart network service okay if you are using Seven versions Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. Okay, EL7. Guys, from here onwards, everything comes under a little bit different. Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7, Saint OS 7. We are using 7, right? So here it is. You can use both the commands like a system CTL restart. Where a network manager. So if you are using EL6, means Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6, Oracle Enterprise Linux 6, Saint OS 6, anything. OK, EL6 kind of stuff. Only one command is that is service network restart. It's a little different from one to another one. Yeah, a lot of people are asking questions. Is it possible to hack Linux? What are the advantages of using Linux? Uh, what can be connected to network using MAC address? Very good. Uh, which operating system is more secure Linux or Windows? List of IP, I'll check it. Um, already I told guys, I don't go with the security part of Linux and Windows. Windows is directly, uh, Windows is by default, it is secure. But in, when you talk about Windows, Windows two things are there. Windows Server, Windows Desktop. OK, but both are by default secure one only. Windows desktops are most widely used desktop operating system is compared to any other operating systems. OK, next. Windows servers are for a services server purpose. Linux are mostly for server purpose, desktop purpose very less like a Ubuntu, Linux Mint, kind of Linux based operating systems are there for a desktop also there, but still Linux and Unix are basically server related operating systems. Second, coming to the security part, already I told Windows is by having a default security and uh, Windows easily executable files are there. Okay, dot exe files will be executed. If I write a script and double click, it will execute automatically. Means it's a faster uh, way of attacking or more possibility is there, even though it is very secure than anything. OK, so why? Because of widely used operating system, most people are trying to attack on a Windows operating system only because of it is widely used and self executable files are very easy to attack by opening some link, by installing some application or by uh, executing some code it is directly installed. So be careful with your Windows operating system when you are installing any application or touching some folder file kind of self executable things 
or more dot exe kind of win 32 environment kind of executor files are more. So it is that's why it is Windows. You have to be careful when you are doing it. In a Linux and Unix, we don't have that any kind of that kind of stuff. Okay. <coughs> Every command user has to choose to run. So what are the folder it is coming or a file? He won't run everything, right? So we don't mind ever because we are concentrated on managing the services. We don't go with a regular Windows operating system, right? So like that, like that. Next, again, again in security, guys. Linux is a open source operating system. It means everybody knows how Linux is created, how Linux is created. So understand how Linux is there, how files are there. Everything is open. Like you are you are making uh, something you uh, you are manufacturing uh, a product. Okay, if you think no one is interfere, no one should not alter your product. Okay, no one take your product and alter and redistribute it. So what you will do? That kind of product is Windows operating system. You can't alter the uh, operating system. Uh, you can't able to redistribute of the operating system also. In Linux, you can take it, alter it, and we can redistribute it. That's the Linux distributions are many more distributions in the market. Linux is the most popular uh, uh, operating system in the redistribution manner. Most mostly Linux kernel. The meaning is everybody knows how it is the source code of Linux. So how can you say it is a secure? That is one point. So second point root user password linux having a administrator that is the administrator name is root name of the administrator is linux is root okay so in the linux test books means red hat enterprise linux test books you know in a starting only in a, uh, they will tell how to reset the root password if you forget okay how to reset the root password even though that is one of the question in the red hat uh, examinations so how can you say a test book directly official test book is telling how to reset the root password in microsoft you can't able to reset the root password it is not much that much easy you have to find some other tools to do it but simply i am telling you can simply google it or maybe you can go through the test book i am not saying someone is telling you Officially, they are telling how to reset the root password. So how can you say it is a secure? Of course, Linux is secure. Why? Because of it is a open source CLI based operating system. Next one is. Ne not a next one means because of that one, you have to secure Linux. If you create your own security on a Linux, no others can able to access your files, data kind of stuff. Okay. The security as for the Linux security concerns user or a administrator has to secure the Linux machines. Not by default security kind of stuff. Of course uh, we can. Linux can be hackable can be hackable. So if you don't secure enough, it can be hackable. So there is nothing like a hackable kind of stuff. Really if you go to the uh, real hacking uh, people like a black hat hackers they will hack anything so for them no nothing is impossible like okay so like this so like say so non hackable kind of stuff is not there linux is mainly lightweight guys linux is compared to windows server how much windows server 2 gb windows server you are giving in a gi mod it is very 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 slow okay in linux if you see you can run multi user mode multiple users log into linux system multiple applications we can run in a Linux system and it is a faster way because of less hardware footprint means will less resources it will consume. OK, less resources requirement for the Linux operating system, less space it will take it and mostly Linux is CLI based and minimal version is there. If you anybody want to go to see how to install a minimal version, also search for a minimal version in my PC. OK. So minimal version is there. Linux minimal version is there. So that's a another point. OK. And uh, last time uh, I'm, I will tell when very best example of mine is like uh, almost like a four or five classes. 
in online in mainly in online in offline i took lot of classes in, a, in a 18 and 19 batches devops batches so git marvin uh, jenkin docker like this i installed in a windows system only because i learned how to install in a windows system that's why i showed in a windows system only For initially i tried in a linux but i i unable to install properly because i don't understand that time how to install a jenkins Okay. I tried Jenkins directly. Uh, I took a lot of guideline, but it's not working. Later it is working now. Okay. So slowly the coding is different. Okay. Uh, last uh, ma entire year means 2000 and 2001. Uh, I showed maximum practicals. Max all almost all my practicals on a Windows 10 installation. In that one Windows 10, Git, Jenkins, Marvin, uh, Eclipse, Python, and Docker. Docker installation, okay, MySQL kind of stuff. Like whenever I installing one by one, finally I install a Docker. My system is very slow. Windows 10 keep updating. Windows 10 keep updates. That's the one point because updates system is slow. Second one, more RAM requirement for a Docker. Extra RAM is required for a Docker uh, running for because Docker is separate application which runs on Windows. For a virtualization platform kind of stuff, right? But I I put a initially 2 GB, then 4 GB, then 6 GB. Even in a 6 GB also, system is very slow. So last time I tried one thing uh, on a in my my Linux system is look like here it is. Somewhere I tried like this. Actually, this is the one I tried. So DevOps, CentOS, like that. You know. What are the things I installed in this one is the first one is git is Linux is installed. That is a minimal version that to Linux is installed. That is minimal version. OK, git installed Jenkins, Marvin, Docker, uh, Ansible, Ansible, Python, Java. <laughs> uh, I think I also installed some more uh, tools like a uh, MySQL, MariaDB. MariaDB is also running there. OK, so like that I installed like that only. But it is running very fast. Jenkins install it will take at least uh, four times failure. One hour or two hours it is time consumption. Now it is. Uh, um, OK. So Linux is less hardware front end, fast for working. CLI mode, not everyone can able to easily access. Not everyone can easily access. User can alter the um, uh, shell scripting or a uh, uh, kernel management shell management shell, shell scripting by that one you can program in the in the linux you can able to program in the linux by using a shell scripting so you can provide your own security to linux operating system of course virus effect on the linux is very less very very less why because of most of the viruses are Windows based operating Windows based only. OK, um, uh, that's the uh, thing. Yes, yeah. Multi user, multi uh, multi user, multi tasking type, multiple users. You can log in, so you don't need to take extra license for accessing multiple users. Multiple distributions are there. Which distribution you like it? You can use it. Last question, guys. Can we connect it to network using Mac address? Yes. You cannot connect with the MAC address. All communications through IP address only. Not a name, not a MAC address. You can't communicate with a name. You can't communicate with a MAC address. MAC address only for to confirm that is your destination in the single local network only. Just for a security purpose or a confirmation purpose. Both are in a same logical network. No, no, it is not for logical network. IP address for logical network. OK, so only for physical device confirmation, only for physical device confirmation only we are using MAC address. We are using MAC address for a physical device confirmation data link layer. It will verify source of MAC address, destination MAC address are same. So both are can communicate each other. That's it. You can't communicate with MAC address. You can't communicate with the name. All communications to IP address. If you are communicating with the name means two reasons. Either it is NetBIOS, LLMNR, DNS, Wins. 
Okay, these are all name to IP address conversations. Yes. So that's uh, uh, questions and answers in the chat box. And uh, luckily, Megasham is asking, can you explain once more uh, how to assign an IP address? Yes, I will explain uh, because of when I told it is literally it is a confusion part only. OK, so you don't need to worry about it. So I am doing from starting guys, uh, not to starting uh, again. I will change some IP and I will put it. OK, look at here. I am using um, anything like a if config. To check the IP address. If can be so this is my already existing adapter, which is I don't want to touch this one because it's my VM net zero kind of stuff. This is my second adapter, which is usually for our practice purpose only. OK, this is already assigned static IP address to it. OK, and every uh, thing as a, its own name also will be there, but we are not getting from this window. Any which ways you should get it. So like if config IP ADDR. OK, maybe we need another command to know it. Uh, what is the exact name uh, to get that one? So NMCLI is there, but I, I'm not uh, going to NMCLI. Now you can go to NMCLI also no problem. You can see NS37 wide connection one the name of this adapter in the PC is wired connection one. OK, this is the existing IP address. So like this. VI space slash etc slash system config slash network script. OK, lot of people don't like this one. Why? Because of very big lengthy part. If CFG wired otherwise what you do press tab button in this stage like this two times you can see yellow means uh, loop back kind of stuff yellow means loop back this is already existing adapter the only one this adapter is there yes you can go to this extra adapter like this go to this and uh, here in this one i already removed already remove DHCP related information only I keep it this thing so you can look at you can also remove this thing UUID okay hardware address you can also remove it but important is keep it type is Ethernet type is Ethernet boot proto is none boot proto is none for a static and IP ADDR IP address net mask for this one DNS server. Of course, you can search for a uh, how to put a default uh, gateway for that one also. Okay. On boot is yes. Important is on boot yes. Name of the adapter, name of the adapter, DNS address, net mask, IP address, default gateway, and boot proto none. And type is Ethernet. So these things you have to edit as per the requirement. Next, come out from it. If you are done, so come out from it. Next, if you check the IP address, IP address may not changes. If config, sorry, sorry. If down for disable the adapter. ENS 37 is my adapter name. So it is disconnected. Again, if up for a enable. If up for a enable. Then check the IP address. OK, so check the IP address as IP address is assigned or not. Later you can test it. OK, so that is how to work with a CLI mode. Next one is TUI mode. Next one is TUI mode. The command is NMTUI. This is really we can able to enjoy. We'll try this one. NMTUI. NM TUI. 
network manager nm means network manager nm tui go to edit connection activate connection set system host name these three options you are getting how to navigate navigation through up arrow down arrow space bar is very useful okay so edit connection it is asking which edit connection you want to get so you want to go to bridge ns33 wide connection one so wide connection one so i put a right arrow add edit go to edit so you want to edit the profile name or you like that so it is showing a manual one you can change it to automatic and uh, you can remove existing one like this okay i'm removing all my uh, uh, ip addresses okay required uh, ipv for addressing okay um go to back fit so when you see uh, nm cli okay so it is still showing an ip address by because of disconnected and connected so if of ns 33 so just i showed this one okay so look at here that it is disconnected and uh, not av available it is showing but we should uh, connect it back so ns 37 if of ns 37 is try to get up but there is a problem so then we don't get it again emtui nmtui edit connection wide edit guys if in case your router is is automatic now change it to manual you want to assign manually manual show address you added address here 172 16 Zero, one twenty-five this time, because I want to show you variation whether it is really we are getting some IP address or not. Next, give the prefix. Means prefix is sixteen. Prefix is sixteen. You want to give gateway. If you want to give gateway, you can also give gateway. Otherwise, leave it no problem. Not required actually. Give gateway. if you have a dns server you can give the dns server also okay if you have a dns server you can give the dns server if you have multiple dns server also you can give multiple dns server if you have a routing concept kind of stuff like that you can able to do it so important is go to automatic to manual okay next click here show hide like that so then go to here and start adding it so like this first is a ip address slash 16 means this is a class b class b so to tell a, a ip address sorry subnet mask in the slash notation i am giving slash 16 gateway and dns server address and uh, you can give x mark here like using space i put a ipv6 ignore so don't don't required ipv6 kind of stuff okay so always connect means on boot on kind of stuff click okay because this okay is not showing here see okay enter now go back once you activate a connection so i'm going to activate a connection like this this is already activated but what i am doing is if down if up i am doing right so like that i am doing deactivate first of all down deactivate the connection so you can see there is a star mark is gone in a wide ethernet uh, wide connection one so ethernet ens 37 star mark is gone means it is deactivated again i am activated like a if up enable type enable i am going back 
you can see star mark is back star mark is back okay going back click ok or quit now check the ip address see it is 125 ip address is showing 125 ip address is showing you want to see that ip address from here can look at here it is a boot proton none name is wired connection so prefix 16 so you can tell like that's prefix 16 in gateway and ip address like this also you can add it okay so gateway can mention like this In a manual, where is in manual? So, either this or that one. So, don't put a both or things, it will confuse. Maybe it will confuse. Either you can say, like, okay, so either this or that one. So, you can do it. Gateway mentioning, okay. So this is how to give IP address using NMTUI. Because of NMTUI is completely uh, uh, there only. So you have to remember how to do it. Guys, understand how to manage yes, J mod, CLI mod, TUI mod, TUI, text based user interface, text based user interface or terminal user interface kind of stuff. Because of you can access that same thing TUI in the any CLI based system also. Look at here. This is inactive. I am going to react reconnect it. Okay, so root. Okay, NM TUI. So this is not a GI machine, right? So this is a CLI terminal. So still we can able to edit very easily. CLI based is very difficult to understand, but this is easy to do it. See, look at here, edit. So this is my uh, adapter, okay? Like this, you have to give. So you want to change it to automatic, you can change it to automatic, or you want to change it to manual. So you can change it to manual, give the IP address, you want to remove it. You can remove it if you don't want it. Okay, like this. Okay, then go to back. If you want to uh, disable enable kind of stuff, deactivate it first and activate it. I deactivated the connection. Now it is activated connection. So be careful when you're doing, guys. Okay, you don't deactivate. I uh, mean. <laughs> And, and immediately check the whether IP address is changed or not. Okay, so this is uh, about a basic networking related one. So again, in a ping command, is yes, always guys, C1 means only one inquiry. C1 means only one inquiry. Only one query you will get it. If you don't give more, that's about like a, if you give 100, 100 queries and it will stop. I give it 10. So 10 queries 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 totally send and receives will happen. Okay, this is how to control number of pings. If you don't give this one, it is keep going. Okay, in a line X, when you pinging, it is keep going like this. I'm canceling it. Next, Next start. 
the common command in a any networking related both windows and linux so how it is connected uh, which port it is connected like that you can able to get it using a net stack butler service related one Uh, as uh, I can see. Okay, so like it. So uh, nothing is happening, right? So what I am doing is open browser. Uh, currently SSH is connected. That's the only it is showing. Okay, so what is it? Whatever it is, it's again confuse you. So don't worry about it. Um, yes, that's it for a networking related one. 